hace 800 años. 800 years ago, the city of Valencia was surrounded by a wall made of earth. This one that you can see here. Alma del Temple has the longest and highest stretch of Islamic wall in Valencia. And to tell the truth, we found it completely by accident. In fact, perhaps one of the most interesting features of this building is that we have modified the course of the wall through this quarter of Valencia. We initially thought that it was located in another area of the city, and when we first entered the building and started to chip away at the wall, we realized that it was made of earth, and that far from being a divining wall, it was actually a two and a half meter round earth wall or tapil. So we started to look into the prospect of the Islamic wall passing through here, something which at that moment in time was pure speculation. We found books, we searched in the land registry, and we finally came across a document from 1700 which indeed indicated where the wall lay. In a garden, the garden of Juan Señora de Payes. We continued our investigation and slowly but surely we discovered that, as we suspected, what we had here was the old city wall. The subsequent archaeological excavation unearthed it in its entirety, and here you can see it for your very selves. It is exceptionally high, and we have produced a spectacular 3D reconstruction which we would like you to view because it gives you the perfect insight into what this wall was like in the 12th century. Here we can see some of the hot spots which we feel are certainly worth your attention. For example, a set of rings, four in total, which were used to tether horses. This area, back in the 19th century, was the Marquis of Caro's stables, where he kept his horses. We can get an idea of where the floor level was, more or less where those small squares are now. Everything else has slowly but surely been excavated away to reveal the remains of different ages and periods. The Visigoths, the Moors, the Goths. These square holes are characteristic of the masonry techniques used on a wall of this kind. It was built using a series of wooden boxes which, in turn, were positioned on a series of stakes which were then fixed into the ground. It is surprisingly made of earth, and what happens to earth is that when you add specific elements you can make it harder, so much so that this wall has endured 800 years already, and it is exactly how our Islamic ancestors who lived here left it. The wall appears to end here, some four meters from the floor, which we are standing on right here. However, the wall continues to rise to a height of 15 meters. In fact, it passes right through the palace and we can see it in many of the rooms. There is one room, number 15, which houses a series of arches built upon the wall, and these reach a height of no less than 15 meters above the current street level.